Yo guys, before we get into this video, we are currently on the grind to 70,000 subscribers. According to my YouTube analytics, over 50% of my viewers aren't even subscribed. So make sure you hit that sub button right now and comment down below, hashtag Witness70K. For the cheapest and most trusted grinding services, go check out The Plug on Twitter and on Instagram for all your grinding needs. Link for those will be in the description and make sure you let them know Witness2K sent you for a discount yo what's going on guys witness 2k back on nba 2k 21 my team with another pack opening we have a heat check moments pack opening because 2k dropped three new galaxy opals we have all 97 overall we have gary trent jr for dropping i think it was 44 points he shot like 15 to 17 it was nuts we got jason tatum right here for dropping 53 and we have zach levine for dropping 50 all these cards look absolutely solid i'm actually really hyped for them um they're only out for 24 hours and I would assume as soon as these expire, we will then get those mystery packs, which you guys can then expect another pack opening from me. Oh, say less. Now I only have 300k MT and we're gonna spend all of that in this pack opening right here. Now normally we do a lot bigger pack openings. If you're not if you're not um, new to the channel, you would know when we do pack openings, we normally get pretty crazy with it and drop like a milli, but I had no idea that we were going to be getting content. It completely took me by surprise. Reasoning because all of those performances from Gary, Levine and Tatum happened on the weekend. So normally if a good performance happens on the weekend, 2K just kind of forget about it. They just don't really seem to acknowledge it when the working week, you know, Monday when Monday comes. So that was one reason why I thought, you know, I doubt we even see moments cards for those card for those players, even though all three of them deserved a moments card. Um, and another reason was because we got moments XP challenges for Zach Levine and for um, Tatum. So that was my. I was thinking like, well, because normally when 2K drop uh, XP challenges is normally their way of saying we'll drop you some XP challenges, but we ain't dropping actual moments cards. So don't even look for those that's what seems normally happen because 2k they haven't seemed to be really that motivated to drop moments this year they just haven't moments has always been a pretty huge thing in 2k's at least for the past few years and this year they just haven't you don't really know when you get moments and when you're not getting moments so it's hard to pick and choose of what to do but bro i checked twitter I see three new Galaxy Opals coming, so I am hyped for it. Um, was able to scavenge up 300k MT on this account for a pack opening. There is also a free Galaxy Opal NS Canter card. Yes, I meant Diamond. Please leave me alone in the comments. That will be coming as well, and he had a crazy game. He had such a crazy game. He dropped, I think it was like 20-something points, but the man had 30 boards. 30 rebounds Enes Kanter had. That was crazy. And Portland won the game as well, which, I mean, I hate. Like, Zach Levine dropped 50. That's dope. But the Bulls lost. Like, I fear for the players when that happens. Like, I would hate to drop 50 in a game and you lose. That would not feel good at all. But, um, yeah, Zach Levine did lose. I, think, I can't remember who they versed. Pelicans or something like that, I think it might have been. I can't really remember. Um, I don't know if Tatum, when he dropped... 53 if the Celtics won or lost, but I know Portland did win. I'm pretty sure they won when um, Ennis Cantor got the 30 rebounds. I mean, if you got 30 rebounds, you I mean, how could you not win? If you got if one player has 30 boards, bro, you gotta win that game. You got your like Ennis Cantor would have given Portland Trailblazers so many more extra possessions. But um, the real objective for this pack opening is to just get one in Galaxy Opal Pool and I don't even really care who it is because because there is three Galaxy Opals three pullable Opals in these packs I feel as though our odds aren't that bad all three of the Galaxy Opals are on the auction house so they are in packs but yeah we're just hoping I just need lightning to strike just one of these packs man I'm not trying to pull all three although I would take it 
but uh, all I want is honestly just one. If I, if you guys had to pick one, comment below who do you think the best one is? Zach Levine, Jason Tatum, or the Gary Trent Jr. card? I mean, straight off the bat, let's be real about Gary. He's little, he's short, and car short cards never survive in 2K. Um, so it really does come down to Jason Tatum or Zach Levine, but then with Jason Tatum, he's a lot slower than Zach Levine. Zach Levine is a hell of a great dribbler. He can, he's quick. His slashing ability is amazing, and he can obviously pull it from the logo. So the obvious answer is Zach Levine, um, just because of his animations, and he can dunk, defend, and shoot. So, and he's... I mean, he's 6'6", six, six, right? Zach Levine's like 6'6", six, six, so he's a good height. Um, but, they, I mean, they're all great cards, of course, obviously, but I'm just trying to think of the best. So comment below, who do you think is the best out of the three Gallic Circles we did get today? Um, even if you think like, yeah, obviously Zach Levine's better, but you just would prefer to use a Jason Tatum card, then that's, again, obviously, that's totally cool. But um, I think Zach Levine, I think, is the obvious answer. But can we get a shake 2k be a joe harris right there but man can we get a shake sooner than later i gotta mention as well it's funny um durant's back playing for the nets and um i would not consider myself you know a stephen a smith or anything like that i'm definitely a fan of the game i know a fair bit about basketball just the common knowledge as a wreck as an average fan sort of has but um the Lakers beat the Nets the other day. There was no LeBron. There was no Anthony Davis. KD played on the Nets. And the Lakers won. And just the Lakers fan base and the and some of the LeBron, not all the LeBron fan base, not all the Laker fan base, but just some of the Laker fan base, some of the LeBron fan base can be so, I'm not going to say toxic. They're just passionate as hell. They are so passionate about their LA Lakers and about their LeBron James, and I get it, but damn, like they will find anything to to make anyone else seem worse and the Lakers and LeBron seem better. Like, yeah, the Nets lost, but like Durant has been injured for how long? You know, like no one, Durant's first game back after that injury, he had, he come off the bench, had 17 points, shot 100%. No one talked about that. But as soon as Durant wasn't hitting as as consistent as he is um, and they lose to the Lakers because that's what that's what it boils down to this season. It's Nets it's it's been Nets versus Lakers all season long and we haven't even hit the the playoffs yet. It's Nets versus Lakers. That's what people are um, debating. And again, I'm just here to watch good basketball. That's what I want to watch. I want to see a Nets versus Lakers finals. And I really hope that is the case. But man, it's just funny being on social media and seeing some of those passionate Lakers and passionate LeBron James fans. So we have 130,000 MT left on the account. I have a bunch of stuff on the auction because I got to make hella MT for the mystery pack opening that we will be doing tomorrow. Um, but so if whatever, if we can get more stuff to sell, I will just redeem it now and spend it in this pack opening. But it would definitely suck if we could not come away with one Galaxy Opal pool. 300 KMT is not a lot. Like I, well, it is a lot, but I, I sort of understand the pack opening type method. Like if you want to get a good pool, I mean, you can't just open up like 10 packs and get lucky. I mean, you can. But you've got to think of the amount of people opening packs. I understand to obviously get the best chances, the best pulls. You got to drop a lot. You got to spend a lot of MT on packs or a lot of VC on packs or whatever. You have got to blow virtual bags. We are down to our final 100k MT, which is about 10 more packs. So. I really, really, really hope we can get lucky. We get Carl Anthony Towns right there, heat check card, which is a little bit active at the moment, it also looks like, but um, I really hope luck strikes one of these last packs for us and we see that shake. Show me that shake, 2K. Nothing's shaking. Man, come on. 
Come on, 2K. I mean, I feel as though Gary Trent Jr. is going to be pretty cheap, pretty quick. So, I mean, give me him. Give me him, 2K. I just need something. I was not prepared for this pack opening at all. I hope you guys still accept it. Come on. Come on. It's starting to get a little bit like, bro, you're going to clutch it or you're going to hoe me. That is the only two options that 2K are going to do to us right now. They're either going to clutch it for us or they're going to hoe us and take our MT and leave us on the side of the road with nothing. Those are the only options. We get 92 Heat Check Luca Magic. That's actually a pretty nice pull, not going to lie, but not who we're opening packs for today. We're not opening packs for Luca Magic. We're here for Zach Levine, Jason Tatum, and Gary Trent Jr. So, what's it going to be, 2K? You going to clutch? They aren't coming in the clutch. Not yet. Steven Adams ain't the move right now. You coming in clutch or you hoeing us? You hoeing us right now on 4K on camera, 2K. You can be the bigger man. Be the bigger person, 2K. Five more packs, guys. Wish me luck. Wish we're going in. Come on. Yo, where are the shakes at? Hassan Whiteside. No. That's another man that could probably grab 30 rebounds, though. Anis Kanna is an amazing rebounder. He reminds me, his rebounding skills remind me of Dennis Rodman, the worm. I'm not saying he's as good as D um, Dennis Rodman, but... Bro, they got some similarities. Who we got here? No. Too gay. I don't want to go out like this. I want to go out one Galaxy Opal pool. That's it. That's it. Three more packs. Come on, clutch it. I don't care if it's the last pack. Yeah, that pack took a little bit extra to load. Could that mean nothing? Yes, it could. We get, oh man, Kelly Olynyk. I ain't a fan of him, I'm not gonna lie. I ain't a fan of Kelly Olynyk, and I don't really know why to be honest, but two more packs. Show some love. Time to show love, 2K. You did us so dirty with the out of position packs. You did us so dirty. No. You screwed us over in the out of position packs. We couldn't even get an opal pull. 2K. It's time to pay your dues. Hit me up with a decent pull. You give me some bad pack luck lately. Clutch it. 2K. Why you got to be like this? You didn't have to do it. 2K did not have to do us dirty. But they made a personal choice as a team. They thought, we re they must have really enjoyed screwing me over with the out of position pack, so they wanted to do a back-to-back -back pack openings, which freaking sucks. We got no luck in the out of positions packs. Moments packs, 300,000 MT. I knew it wasn't likely that we were going to have a crazy pack opening with hella pulls because normally I would have like a milli in the bank ready to go, but I was not prepared for this one. It did the best I could to bring you guys a pack opening video because they're probably my favorite videos to make because I'm a pack addict and you guys seem to always really enjoy the pack openings as well. But I hope you guys did all enjoy this pack opening video. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Leave a like on the video as well and I'll catch you guys all in the next upload. It's been witnessed.